Good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 Smale Buick Virtual Auto Show. My name's Taylor and I have John here with me today, our Buick product specialist, and we're going to show you all the cool and exciting things coming up for Buick this year. Before we get started, don't forget to comment, share, like this video. Um, we can answer all your questions in real time and want to make sure we show you exactly what it is you want to see. So with that being said, without further ado, let's get the show started. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Buick Auto Show, presented by Smale Buick in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Today, we will be connecting you directly to our showroom floor with a live product specialist and cameraman. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section and we will provide you live answers and demonstrations on your favorite Buick vehicles. Without any further ado, let's start the broadcast with your hostess, Taylor Smale. All right, you excited to talk about all the exciting things happening with Buick? I sure am. <laughs> if I was any more excited, I don't know what I, how I could contain myself. <laughs> I know. Um, real quick before we get started, I want to remind everyone about a giveaway we have going on throughout the entire week of the auto show. You can visit smailcars.com slash enter, and you have the chance to win an Apple Watch. We have an Apple TV and a Smail gift bucket with a complimentary detail. So all you have to do is go to that link, fill out a short forum, and you could potentially go home with one of these prizes. All right. So what do you think we should start with first, John? Well, let's see. Uh, how about the Buick Enclave? How about that? That's uh, It's got a nice refresh for 2022. Um, so we're really excited about this one. Uh, took a, a really great vehicle to begin with and just kind of breathe a little bit of new life into it with the uh, whole new front end. So it, for 2022, you're going to have the new front fascia there, uh, the new grill. This one here that you see on the video happens to be the Avenir trim level, which is Buick's highest trim level now. So if you're familiar with anything through GM, whether it's Chevy or GMC, you know, they all have their different uh, top trim levels. So, you know, with the Avenir here, you're going to get um, pretty much all of the luxury that Buick can stuff into the vehicle. Um, but along with that new front fascia and the grill, you have brand new headlights up front there. Um, this one here with the being the Avenir, you do have the unique Avenir grill, which is going to be different than any of the other trim levels. Um, you also have the unique 20 inch wheels that you're going to get with the Avenir and, um, around back, you have the new rear fascia and tail lamp. So on the Avenir, uh, that's going to give you the clear tail lamps in the back, but, um, some of the other nice things that they added to these, you got a lot more standard features than you did previously. So um, come standard with the lane change alert and with side blind zone warning. You also get the enhanced automatic emergency braking as standard, standard rear cross traffic alert, standard lane keep assist with lane departure warning, standard forward collision alert, uh, the front and rear park assist, your IntelliBeam auto high beams, and front pedestrian braking. So all of that stuff is all brand new for 2022, which makes it, like I said, it's, you know, a lot of features on that vehicle to begin with, um, you know, and you, now you just kind of add all these new standards in there. So again, you're going to see there on the you know, in the, in the rear of the vehicle, you've got that, uh, the clear lenses there, the unique fascia that they redid there in the back. So, um, you know, all that stuff is kind of, like I said, we're really excited to, you know, start get re getting these vehicles into the dealership. Um, this one here, you see with the power lift gate, uh, you can see there it has the dual sunroof also, uh, which is really nice. And the Enclave is one of those rare SUVs that with three rows, you do have a, a good amount of 
cargo space behind that third row there, even with the seats being up. So, you know, sometimes typically you get into the kind of midsize, I guess you would call this SUVs and you just kind of, um, it doesn't give you much room behind that third row, but uh, in the Avenir, you're going to get the power release, third row seats, second row seats. Everything inside is all brand new. You're going to get, you know, more features inside there, um, especially in the cabin. You're going to get um, your restyled center console. Uh, they've done away with was previously the electronic shift. Now they have the push button uh, electric transmission. You also have all premium soft touch materials throughout the entire cabin. You see here your quilted and stitched seating there. Um, you're going to get heated, ventilated, and massaging front seats in this vehicle. Again, you're going to see the premium open pour wood there that they've added and kind of gone away. And there you see that new updated console there with uh, your push button there on the left hand side so it kind of opened things up a little bit and again the restyled dashboard um you know you, you go inside also you have more convenience driver assist and infotainment features than you had previously um so it's going to give you again this one you have the dual sunroof you have the available rear camera mirror which is a really nice feature um available hd surround vision you have available heads up display in this vehicle and they all come standard with wireless apple carplay and android auto so you see there that's the rear camera mirror which like i said is a really great feature when you are hauling around you know three rows whether it be kids or adults uh, maybe you're you know doing some antiquing or you know shopping during the week and you have all, all kind of stuff piled in the back of the vehicle and you can't see out the rear view mirror that's a very nice feature to have it takes all of your blind spots out of the way and here you have the hd surround vision which again is very nice and all of these cameras being hd so it gives you a great view of everything around you you'll have the the grainy camera view that you had previously um you know with with the rear cameras so that's a really nice feature it makes it a lot clearer a lot easier to use a lot more accurate too i think a lot of people have felt a little bit more confident using uh their backup cameras and relying on them a little bit more since they have come out with the hd Mm -hmm. uh, you see right there, so you have the wireless charger for your phone. Uh, it's a really nice, easy, convenient place. You just drop it in there. It's a nice wide pad, so it'll accommodate those bigger uh, cell phones that are out there. And it's really nice and easy. You just drop it in there. It has a very wide charging pad there. So, you know, regardless of where you put it, if it doesn't, the older ones, you had to be very picky with them, slide them, make sure they were slid all the way down, all the way to one side. This here, it just kind of basically just drop it in there anywhere and it'll, it'll take care of it for you. And then with the app, with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it's nice because now you don't have those wires uh, coming from your, coming into your phone there and then, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of getting in the way. But, uh, you know, like I said, we're really, really can't wait until we get these vehicles in. They, we have some that are in transit on their way. They should be showing up here. Uh, we're hoping any day now. But, um, you know, some of the other things with that new vehicle, uh, you, they still come with the uh, 3.6 liter V6, which is, you know, rated at 310 horsepower. Very, you know more than enough power to move that vehicle around. Uh, you have the available all wheel drive, which is nice. Um, you know, it's front wheel drive based, but when you get the all wheel drive, it's like any of the other GM vehicles, you can turn it off, just drive in all wheel drive or front wheel drive. Um, also has Buick's quiet tuning uh, suspension, which is a really nice feature. Um, and what that is, is basically just kind of more insulation and the tuning, you know, to the suspension, you don't hear a lot of that, that road noise and feedback from, you know, from outside of the, the vehicle. So the cabin is very, very quiet. Uh, also 
nine speed transmission, which, um, you know, goes to help moving that car. And just, it, it seems like it has a lot more power than, than it actually does. Um, you can also get, uh, they have adaptive continuous, uh, continuous damping <laughs> adaptive suspension, which, um, is a very similar, if you've driven any of the GMC Sierras that have like the magnetic ride suspension, it's very similar to that. So it's, it's something that constantly is, is reading the road, uh, adjusting those shocks there for you to just give you the ultimate ride. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan. I really like the new redesign that they did here in the front with this new front fascia it just kind of gives it a, you know, a sporty, uh, updated look. Mm -hmm. and I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm really liking the, you know, even the back, it kind of just kind of clean things up a little bit. Um, at the same time, I, it gives it a little bit more of, I think of a muscular look too, a little bit more muscular, a little sportier, uh, than the previous version. So I would agree. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. I, um, so if you wanted something, um, I know this has three rows. If you wanted something mm -hmm. a little smaller, would you be looking at the encore? Uh, you can go from, once you come out of the Enclave, your next step down would be the Envision. Uh, okay. So the Envision is going to be kind of your smaller SUV, it's two rows, five passenger. Um, and then below that, you do have the Encore GX, which uh, is a very popular vehicle when we get these things in, you know, especially again right now with not having a lot of inventory. Uh, when we do get these, they don't last. They, you know, we have lists of people who are looking for them. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a very popular vehicle, a lot of features, uh, come standard with it. So that's, that's the other nice thing about these. They all come standard with all of your forward facing safety features. So your forward collision, uh, your lane keep assist with lane departure warning, your IntelliBeam headlights, um, all of that stuff is is standard and it's you know you can then just go up from there depending on the trim level so um you can get your dual climate zone you can get uh heads up display in this you can get the uh power release trunk the hands-free trunk the you have a power driver seat in this uh available all-wheel drive um, once you get up into the essence, you can get things like your LED headlights, your surround vision, your rear camera mirror. So there's a lot of features packed into this, you know, small vehicle that make it a very, very good choice. You know, if you are looking for an affordable, smaller SUV, um, you know, but does have, you know, you can see right there, the, the cargo capability, uh, you do have the 60, 40 folding second row seats um one of the neat features with this too is the the rear floor here uh it actually has a two-tiered loading floor so if you've had something back there maybe that was rolling around um it's happened to everybody you have you open the hatch and the stuff all comes rolling out of the vehicle uh, you can actually drop that floor down a little bit and it'll keep things from rolling out um, you know if you need to fold the second row down very easy to do you can also fold down the front seat completely flat and you can put something up to eight feet long in that vehicle oh wow so it's uh <clears throat> it's a very very useful vehicle again it's as small as it is I, I think a lot of people come in and at first they think it's too small um <clears throat> but mm -hmm. a lot bigger inside than they yeah expect it to be I would say yeah something eight feet I would never think you could you know you can put everything down and fit a lot more in it than you would think you could right right. <clears throat> So I know we keep mentioning, um, you know, it's kind of COVID inventory is a little rough right now. What <clears> do <throat> customers do um, if the car, the vehicle that they're looking for isn't in store right now? Right, right. So right now you can go to any of our websites um, and there is a reserve button. So if you go to smailbuick.com there's going to be a reserve button there that you can look for a specific vehicle um this makes it pretty easy you can go in 
you can pick the uh, trim, you can pick the trip, the different vehicles that we offer, you can pick color. And if there's anything there in particular, you know, the either maybe we have something coming in that we're going to be expecting within the next couple of weeks, um, or maybe even something that you wanted to come in, sit down with us and actually order exactly the way that you want it. Um, all you have to do is go through this. It's again, pretty easy submits over to us. And basically we can, you know, again, if you're looking for something that's incoming or we have something similar to it, we can give you a call when it shows up or you can, you know, call in and just say, Hey, I'd like to come in, sit down with you guys and, and order this the way that I want it. And we can also do that for you. Awesome. So yeah, even though it's not in stores, there's still ways to do everything we can to try to get it for you. Yeah. I know that it's just, you know, things have, have changed a little bit from what they were. And I know, you know, some people aren't, uh, they're, they're kind of on the fence still about the whole ordering thing. Mm -hmm. You know, some people want to actually see the vehicle before they order it, um, which again, completely understand. Um, it's just, you know, one of those things I, I tell people all the time, the quickest and easiest way to guarantee that you're going to get a vehicle is to order it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Again, if we have anything that's incoming, um, you know, we can always tell you what we have that should be either being built, um, maybe is something that we have that's in transit. You can always reserve that vehicle before it gets here too. So, uh, you know, you can put some money down, reserve that vehicle. So when it gets here, it's you're the first person that's called and you know as long as everything is good that vehicle is yours again that's it's kind of the other way but if you wanted a specific color certain features maybe you know maybe you want this but i hey i don't want a sunroof because i don't really use it but a lot of the ones that we have coming have a sunroof you know then maybe sitting down ordering your specific vehicle for you would be the way to go awesome so once you buy a vehicle, we have Vinny, who's going to tell us a little bit about what you can expect with service. We'll go ahead. Hey guys, my name is Vinny Greco. I'm a service writer here for mm -hmm. Smail Auto Group. And today I'm going to be going over a couple things with My Karma. We partnered with them for 2022 and we're going to go over some things that help out with our customers here at Service. One of the good points about My Karma is you're now able to schedule everything online. If you're not able to pick up a telephone to call in to schedule with one of us service advisors or the call center, you're able to go to smellautogroup.com. Um, at that time, you're able to select your brand and select the appointment time and date that best fits your schedule. Um, and so that way we can get you in at an early convenience. Upon arrival into the dealership, another good thing about the My Karma is as long as your cell phone's attached to your account, we're able to send you a text message. So that way you're able to communicate with your advisor through text messaging. So let's say if you're out in the office or you're on a conference phone call, we're able to text you. Another good point about My Karma is, let's say you're coming in with uh, a noise. Um, you got a front noise coming when you're making left turns. We're able to actually send you videos and pictures of what's going on with the vehicle um, that you can view in real time um, and text us back. So that way you don't have to be here um, to see everything. So that's another good point. Um, and another good thing is we can also now send you invoices to text messaging. So that way, if you're gonna be picking up after hours, you're able to pay via text message, a secure link, which notifies your service writer, and we can print the receipt and attach it to your multi-point inspection. Um, multi-point inspection, those are complimentary with every service. You do get your tire specs, your brake specs, we will let you know what's upcoming with service and also what could be addressed at your time um, with the mileage on your vehicle. A lot of the time is waiting on phone calls and communication back and forth from the clients. So that what we're trying to do is cut that out so that way we can have direct contact with our clients to get their vehicles done in a you know, timely fashion and in the right way. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, I'm Vinny Greco, one of the service advisors here at Smell Auto Group. 
Make sure you stop on in Route 30 East in Greensburg, PA, or check us out online at smellauto.com. All righty. I know we're going to be wrapping up here kind of soon. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to say, John, before we went? Yeah, I mean, we've, you know, we've, over the past couple of days here, last week, um, we've started getting a lot of vehicles finally turning up. Um, so, you know, again, if it's something that you're looking for specific, always check out the website. Um, you know, the last thing we want is for somebody to drive all the way out here, depending on where they're from, to look at a vehicle and it not be here because, you know, we all know not everybody from, you know, that buys vehicles from here is just strictly from Greensburg. So if you have anybody that's, you know, traveling in, I know I've had it happen myself sometime, it, people come in. They see something on the website, they drive in and they're told, hey, it's not here, it's in transit, it'll be here in a week, it'll be here whenever. And, you know, they kind of start freaking out that, well, I drove all the way out here and, you know, sometimes that can put people off and they don't want to come back. Um, you know, so I've been telling a lot of people, hey, hey, look, you know, if you go on our website, check out a vehicle, nine times out of 10, it's gonna tell you there at the bottom that that vehicle, whether it's here, it, it would show up. If it says that it's in transit, pick up the phone, give us a call, um, you know, before you drive out. Because there are a lot of times that thing, you know, it pretty, it updates fairly quickly. Um, but, you know, we have a couple vehicles that just came in today that are still showing in transit on, on the website, but they just showed up today. So, you know, if you do see something that, is, you know, maybe catches your eye and it does say in transit, or even if you just want to make sure, give us a call, um, you know, make sure the vehicle is here. One of us, you know, on the sales staff will actually put our hands on that vehicle to make sure and you can see there where the in transit comes in so you know we can put it it's a lot easier for us to put our hands on that vehicle make sure it is available because again we you know we are getting some vehicles we have one or two of um and again the fact that you can come in and and reserve these vehicles before they get here um you know we have customers that look again they'll see something online they want to drive out and see it, but that vehicle may may be here, but somebody has money down on it, having it reserved. So, you know, we're, we, we don't want you to waste your time, um, obviously, but, you know, at the same time, if we do have something at least that is similar to what you're looking for, and it's something maybe you want to check out before you commit to anything, call us, you know, we, we may not have exactly what it is you're looking for, but something similar that at least, hey, yeah, we have one of these now, come in and take it for a ride. Make sure it's a vehicle that you want. Um, you know, we have a lot of people right now too that's leases are coming up and, um, you know, they're kind of getting in this situation where they're getting worried because there's no vehicles out there that, you know, that they like or what they're replacing. Maybe we'd only have one or two of, or, you know, if we have any at all. Um, so again, don't, you know, if, if, you're, if you're in that situation where your lease is coming up, don't wait till the last minute, come in, sit down with us, tell us, hey, or, you know, my lease is coming up in a month or two months or whatever it might be. Um, you know, we can go over your options with you because there are options. It's not like uh, your leases will be up and you have to turn it in and you're going to be carless. Um, you know, we can, we can get together with GM financial and figure out some things there, you know, what, uh, to try to help you along and, and keep you in something until we do get a vehicle in. So, um, you know, again, though, it's, it's one of those things. It's easier if you call, set up an appointment with somebody, um, you know, obviously if you're in the area, Hey, just stop in and, you know, see what's there. You're not really wasting your time, but, um, you know, it, it's call in, set up an appointment. It's always easy that way. That way there, you can make sure that somebody is available to help you out. The vehicle that you're looking for specifically is here or not. Um, you know, and you can go from there. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And everyone that's watching, um, 
You can continue to leave comments, ask questions. We'll get to get them to John, make sure he can answer them for you. If there's anything you want to see more of, or if you have questions. Um, and then also the giveaway. Don't forget to go to smailcars.com slash enter. We're giving away an Apple Watch, an Apple TV. We have a Smail gift bucket with a complimentary detail. All you have to do is go to that site, fill out a quick forum, and you could potentially go home with one of these prizes. But alrighty, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. This has been the 2022 Smail Buick Virtual Auto Show. See you guys. We'll see you. Have a good day.